The Starlink will begin a reconfiguration of its satellite constellation by lowering all of its satellites orbiting at around 550 kilometers to 480 kilometers over the course of 2026. And according to Michael Nichols, SpaceX's vice president of Starlink Engineering, the company is in fact looking to increase space safety by lowering the satellite's orbit. And the announcement comes after one of Starlink's satellites experienced an anomaly in December, creating a small amount of space debris and also cutting off communications at 418 kilometer altitude. The satellite quickly dropped four kilometers, suggesting a minor onboard explosion. Nichols further said that lowering the orbits will condense the Starlink constellation, reducing the number of debris and planned satellite collisions. Below 500 kilometers, with nearly about 10,000 satellites launched, Starlink has often been criticized for single-handedly creating orbital congestion. The change is now expected to improve space safety by condensing debris density, speeding up deorbiting of defunct satellites, and minimizing conflicts between neighboring satellites, and also mitigating orbital hazards caused by solar activity. Most of the orbital congestion currently exists in the 500 to 600 kilometer range, where the density of the satellite is high, creating chances of collision. Now, the number of spacecraft in Earth's orbit has jumped sharply in recent years as companies and countries are racing to deploy tens of thousands of satellites for internet constellations and other space-based services, such as communications and Earth imagery.